2018 Porsche Panamera Overview A four-door Porsche might have raised more than a few eyebrows when the Panamera was first introduced for the 2010 model year, but since then this luxury performance sedan has proven its worth in the marketplace, and in the minds of many of the Porsche faithful. Fire the chauffeur was the punchline of a popular 1980s Porsche commercial, in which a proud owner enjoys driving his new car so much that he asks his butler to terminate the employment of his driver. But the Panamera is a Porsche that is designed for those who might like to be chauffeured around. What's new for 2018? This year, Porsche has added nine new models to its second-generation Panamera lineup. There are now 16 variations and five distinct powertrains, including a 680 horsepower plug-in hybrid. Our test vehicle, a base Panamera, is the only rear-wheel drive version of the sedan and one of four models powered by a single-turbo 3.0-liter V6, also available are all-wheel drive versions of the sedan, the long wheelbase executive variant of the sedan, and the Sport Turismo wagon. With a base price of $86,050, this is the least expensive Panamera, all-wheel drive adds $4,600, and it's also several grand less expensive than our new friend's 911 Carrera. Engine, Transmission, and Performance The base model is powered by a 330-horsepower 3.0-liter turbocharged V6 six and is called simply the Panamera when fitted with rear-wheel drive, or the Panamera 4 with all-wheel drive. The engine is pleasingly strong near the bottom of the Tatch but comes alive above 4,000 RPM, although it's not as explosive as the 440-horsepower twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 in the Panamera 4S. The V6 pairs with an 8-speed PDK dual-clutch automatic transmission, which is used in every new Panamera. The Panamera Executive can be ordered with either of these engines, but all-wheel drive is standard on this long wheelbase version. The new Panamera 4E Hybrid boasts 462 total horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. It comes mated to an 8-speed ZF-sourced dual-clutch automatic transmission that brings with it whip-crack shift speeds. In the mountains, the Panamera felt big at first, but the grip is there, and the big Porsche seems to shrink as you up the pace. The Porsche stability management system is tuned conservatively, shutting things down before any of the Panamera's athleticism can be explored. The system is far more forgiving in sport mode, which allows for some hustle, but the Panamera is best with the system turned off, letting the driver set up for corners with a little trail braking range, charging, and battery life. The Panamera e-Hybrid is equipped with a 14.1 kWh battery pack offering 50% more capacity than before, as well as a stronger electric motor slash generator still sandwiched between the engine and the transmission. Charge time for the batteries can be as quick as two and a half hours using the optional 7.2 kW onboard charger and a 240 volt power source. Sport and Sport Plus modes are intended to maximize combined hybrid performance, the former keeps battery charge at a steady level to ensure there's electric thrust when you want it, while Sport Plus actively works to recharge the batteries using the engine to make sure there's even more thrust when you want it. Fuel Economy EPA fuel economy testing and reporting procedures have changed over time. For the latest numbers on current and older vehicles, visit the EPA's website and select Find and Compare Cars. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo even the base Panamera is graced with a surprisingly spacious rear seat. The Panamera Executive easily reaches the level of the BMW 7 Series and the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. There are some comfort-oriented goodies on board as well, including heated seats with multiple adjustment options, an electric rear window sunshade, and a panoramic sunroof. The 4S Executive also gets soft-closed doors, 
and the turbo executive tops it off with ambient interior lighting, four-zone climate control, and LED headlights. It makes for a pretty comprehensive list of standard goodies, although the options list will let you plunk down tens of thousands more. The overall interior design is simple and refined, and our test car featured big slabs of dark wood and yards of buttery soft leather on almost every surface. Infotainment and Connectivity